Okay, let's have a look now where we left off the last time. Um, let's have a look here. So I remember doing 44 and 45. Um, in the following exercise, consider the graph that shown here, which statements are true and which are false. Explain why a statement is false. Okay. Okay, let's copy this over. Okay. The limit as an x goes to 10 of f of x is 0. So there's 10. That looks perfectly fine. That's true. The limit as x tends to minus 2. Um, from the positive, so that means uh, to to the that that uh, from the right, I believe. So. So um. I don't I don't think so. I think that's false unless I've mixed up my my plus and my minus, which is possible. Let's check the answer here. Um. 47 is false. Let's have a look again. 47 is false. 47. Yeah, it's not actually okay. I would not have guessed that that's going up to infinity because I don't see a dotted vertical asymptotic line. But I guess that's, that's what it is saying. That that's a false because it's actually, uh, if you come from the right to minus two, you're, you're heading up to infinity. Now let's have a look here. The limit as x tends to minus eight. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's um, a problem. It's discontinuous here. Um, it's broken here. So like, as x is tending towards minus eight, we're tending towards minus six. So I, I think this is false. It should equal the limit. It looks more like minus six than it does minus three. Um, and then limit as x tends to 6. Uh, again, it depends if we're coming left or right. So that's false because it's either going to be 2 or 5, depending if we're moving from the left or the right. Uh, let's see now. Uh, Forty nines are false. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, now, in the following exercise, use the following graph to the function to find the values, if possible, estimate when necessary. Okay. okay. Up this over. Okay, in the following exercise, use the value, use the follow, use the following graph of the function to find the values if possible, estimate when necessary. The limit as x tends to one from the left looks like it's it's one. The limit when x tends to one from the right looks like it's two. The limit as x tends to one undefined um yeah because these two differ 
the limit as x tends to 2. Uh, that looks like it should be 1, regardless if it's from the left or the right. And f of 1. f of 1 is 1 because it's shaded here. So you go with this one. So that's that's 1 then. Okay. Let's have a look at the next one here. And uh, I'll check the answer there for those few. 51 is 2. Yeah. 53 is 1. And okay, that's it for now. Should make this a little bit larger. Okay. Um, the limit as x tends to zero from the left should be one. The limit as x tends to zero from the right is minus four. The limit as x tends to zero is undefined. It's either one or minus four. And the limit as x tends to two is a zero. Okay. So 55 is one. 57, undefined or divergent. I guess divergent is, is a better word than undefined. Um, and fit not on a 58. Okay. Okay. Um, let's have a look now at this one. Okay, let's, let's copy this, or let's gonna clear this. Okay. Um, limit as x tends to minus, limit as x tends to minus two from the right, looks like it's, it's two. The limit as x tends to, oh, that's from the left, sorry. The limit as x tends to minus 2 from the left is 0. The limit as x tends to minus 2 from the right looks like it's 2. And this here is divergent. Um, is that? Oh, that's limit as x tends to 2 from the left, which is minus 2. The limit as x tends to 2 from the right is 2. And then this is divergent. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Um, 59 is zero, yep. S, I don't know, 61 is divergent. 63 is two, okay, that's good. Uh, let's let's have a look here. Okay. Okay. Copy that one. Okay. And then uh, there's sixty sixty five is the limit as x tends to zero from the left. So that looks like it's tray. 66, uh, the limit as x tends to zero from the right. So that's zero. And the limit as x tends to zero therefore is undefined. 65 and 67, let's check those. Tree and divergent. Oh, I keep saying undefined. I should really say, use the same word, divergent. Okay. Okay, that looks right. Okay. Um. Go back here. Okay. Um. Let's have a look. 
Okay, so where am I now? Um, I did 67. Okay. Let's finish with these graphs. So for today, I think that'd be a good, good place to finish on. The limit as x tends to zero from the left. Oh, that's a bit, it looks like zero. And then this looks like zero. And this looks like zero. It's a bit hard to tell what's happening in the center though. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, it looks okay. Okay, and then this last one here, oops, okay, let's copy that, uh -huh. okay, and then up to 71 to 75. Okay, the limit as x tends to zero from the left is minus two. The limit as x tends to zero from the right is zero. So this is divergent. The limit as x tends to one is minus one and the two is zero. Let's check the answers. So 71 is minus two. 73 is divergent and 75 is zero. Okay. Um, okay. Nearly finished this exercise already, but for the next batch, 76 onwards, we have to make the graph consistent with the facts given. Yeah, nearly finished this exercise, so we should get it finished next time. Okay, let's wrap it up for there. Let's wrap it up there for today. Thanks for watching. Any problems, please let me know, and I'll see you all next time.